hey guys welcome back to angular 10 spring boot crude full stack application tutorial series now it's time to create a restful web services so before that let's go ahead and let's create one custom exception class right click on exception package new and then choose class and let's name this custom exception class as a resource not found exception so whenever a resource not exist in a database then we can throw this exception okay from the api layer rest api basically uh, you know throws this exception that we will see a bit later this exception extends a runtime exception okay and uh, runtime exception internally implements serializable interface so let's go ahead and let's quickly add the serial version id here let's say public and here let's pass string message and we simply pass this message to the super class okay it's pretty simple custom exception now let's annotate it this exception class with at the rate response status annotation use value property and let us say http status not found okay so basically we use this custom exception so whenever a record not exists in database then rest api will throw this exception and uh, uh, we have annotated this exception with at the rate response status annotation so the api will return a not found status to the client okay that's great now let's go ahead and let's create spring mc controller right click on controller package new and then choose class and let's call controller class as employee controller okay within a controller we create a rest apis so let's add at the rate rest controller annotation and also add at the rate request mapping annotation and let's define a standard url over here slash api slash version v1 so this is the standard we use typically whenever we develop a rest apis like v1 like version 1 so we are releasing all the rest apis as release 1 and uh, this is the api so this is a standard uh, url endpoint that typically we use in our rest apis okay now let's go ahead and let's inject uh, employee repository over here employee repository and let's add at the rate at the while annotation to inject this repository by spring container now we'll develop get all employees rest api just type public and then list so this rest api should return a list of employees to the client so let's give return type as list of employees let's give a method name as get all employees all right and just return employee repository dot find all method so look at here find all method returns a list of employees okay let's select this and let's add at the rate get mapping annotation and let's specify a url here slash employees okay so once we hit the url in a browser like localhost 8080 api slash v1 slash employees then this rest api will get called and this api returns a list of employees to the client all right let's go ahead and let's run the spring boot project and let us test this rest api open our spring boot main class right click and run as spring boot app
all right guys our spring boot application is up and running on embedded tomcat server on port 8080 and look at here we haven't created create employee rest api in order to create a records in a database we have directly created a get all employees so what we'll do we'll insert some records in a employees table in a database and we call this rest api and we'll retrieve this api will retrieve all the employees from the table and it will return to the client okay let's go back to the mysql workbench and let's insert few records now if you refresh the schemas and if you look at here employees management system database a employees table is created okay so this table is automatically created by hibernate and now right click and select roads so if you look at the table there are no records in a table so let's quickly insert few records one email id ramesh at the rate gmail.com first name ramesh last name kodatari and also is insert one more record tony at the rate gmail.com first name tony last name stark let's keep these two records and hit apply apply and finish all right let's execute this select statement again in order to make sure that the records are there in a table yeah we have two records in a table now let's go back to the browser and let's hit a rest api in a browser tab and we'll be able to get a response as a json array of employees objects okay great all right guys open the browser go to the new tab and just type localhost 8080 slash api slash v1 slash employees and hit enter yeah here we go we got a json array uh, json array as a response from the rest api we can use postman uh, rest client to test our get all employees rest api so open a postman uh, client and in a enter request you will just type localhost 8080 slash api slash v1 slash employees and select http get method all right and hit send button and here you can see we got a json response we got an area of employee objects thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in next one